President Obama will unveil a comprehensive jobs package during a speech next month. House Republican leader Eric Cantor wasted no time swiping at the president, telling House Republicans that Americans want results, not speeches. And House Speaker John Boehner used the occasion to repeat his favorite line, the question, where are the jobs? At times like this, I like to take a look at this website put together by the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. It has been, my friends, 224 days since the Republicans took the House, since Boehner got the gavel, and not a damn single jobs-related bill has been introduced in the tan man's chamber. Not one. Independent Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont joins us tonight. Senator, good to have you with us. Is the White House dreaming if they think the Republicans are going to step to the plate and help President Obama and the Democrats create jobs just 13, 14 months before an election. Are they in a dream world? What do you think, Senator? I, I think they are. I think it's very clear that the function of the Republican Party today in Congress is to represent the wealthiest people in this country and the largest corporations. They could care less about the middle class or working families. And I think the American people are beginning to catch on that the president cannot keep trying to compromise with people who do not want to compromise. What he needs to do is come out with a bold, B-O-L-D, a bold job creating program to put millions of people back to work and then challenge the Republicans to support it. And if they don't, you go around the country and you educate the American people as to the role the Republicans are playing. Well, when you take a look at what the Republicans have not done, do you think the American public is figuring this out, that they are just total obstructionists? And should the president go harder on the can trail and talk about the climate that he's dealing with? Well, I think what's happening now is a strange moment in American politics, is that the people do understand the obstructionist and reactionary role that the Republicans are playing. But on the other hand, they are not excited about what the president or the Democrats are doing. And I think the time is now, for example. The president talked about infrastructure, jobs program. We have got to be a lot bolder than what he is talking about. The American Society of Civil Engineers said we need to spend $2 trillion in the next five years. If we start spending real money rebuilding our roads, our bridges, our water systems, our rail system, public transportation, we can begin the process, Ed, of putting millions of people back to work. The other thing, in my view, that we've got to do and the president is not doing this, is deal with the disastrous trade policies that have cost us millions of jobs in the last 20 years. We have lost 50,000 factories over the last 10 years alone, millions of good paying jobs, NAFTA, CAFTA, permanent normal trade relations with China have not worked. We must demand through good strong legislation that corporate America start reinvesting in the United States of America, rebuild our manufacturing sector, and stop the outsourcing of jobs to China and other developing countries. Senator Sanders, independent from Vermont, again, you're spot on. I totally agree with you. I hope the White House gets it. Thanks for joining us tonight.